Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! If you are new here, my name is Alicia Shannon. I'm so glad that you decided to join me on this video. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe below and check my channel for more. Today's video is going to be a video that you guys chose on my Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram right here so you can participate in future polls. But today's video is my go-to skincare slash the skincare I have been using in 2020. I wanted to make a video of my favorite products from 2020, not necessarily products that released in 2020, but products I was using in 2020 because I did see a pretty good improvement in my skin this year. All right, so now it's time to get into the actual video. To start, I'm going to show you guys some of the face masks that I really love. And I only actually have two, and I have the Bliss Mint Chip Mania and the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. So I'm going to get into more detail with the individual product. So this is what the Bliss Mint Chocolate mask looks like. Clearly you guys can see I really love this. I do have a backup. I like to use this mask when I just need a quick refresher. This mask is cooling and it is soothing and it's supposed to be ice cream. That's why it's the mint chip. I think I mostly like this because it is cooling. I don't know. It's just something about it that I really really like. So this is a mask I will throw on when I'm not really having a lot of problems but I do just want to have like a little spa moment. Or if I do have a small blemish sometimes I'll put this over just to help reduce the inflammation. And as for the Kiehl's, this is a sample size and this sucks literally everything out of your skin. I don't know how they do it, but this is awesome. As you can see, this is what the mask looks like and I have used quite a bit of it. I like this mask for when I have a lot of acne that I just really want to get in and get out. On the packaging, it says intensely purifies to minimize pores and I definitely feel that after. It feels like everything has been sucked out of my skin and I really like how my skin feels after I use this. Now, of course, after I use something like this, like I said, everything is like sucked out of my skin. So I'm going to need some type of moisturizer. So now I'm going to get into my favorite moisturizers. So the first moisturizer that I'm going to talk about is my heavy duty moisturizer. And I will use this moisturizer if I have extremely dry skin. And my extremely dry skin usually comes from certain acne products that I use, which I will show later on in the video. But it is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This is a huge tub. And this is actually something that was recommended to me by my dermatologist because I was complaining of the acne products severely drying out my skin. So when I am super dry, this is something I will use. This is the, I'm feeling like this is a hair desert. I need hydration ASAP. This is the go-to for that. So next I have two products from The Ordinary and this is Marine Hydraulics and this is the Hyaluronic Acid. And I use these products the most, I would say. This is just for a little boost when I need it. The Marine Hyaluronics is the one that I use the most just because it's not like such a sticky formula. If I just need something light and quick, this is the one I will go to. I really like The Ordinary and I highly recommend for anybody who is looking for really good skincare products for cheap. And then of course I have the famous Hyaluronic Acid and I feel like everybody knows what this does. But this is for days where I'm not quite needing like a casual moisturizer but I'm also not needing my CeraVe. This is something I would use in that case just so I get a little bit more tackiness. I also want to try this underneath my makeup. I need to do that eventually. But this is another moisturizer I use. And last for the facial moisturizer. This is the Farsali Quench Moisture Replenishing Serum and I did get this in a BoxyCharm and I love this. I love Farsali and I really like this product. There is so much product in here and this is sticky and tacky just like the Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary. This feels so much more cooling and moisturizing and I have been leaning towards this more than The Ordinary recently. My skin feels nice and healthy after using this. On the back it says to add before you put on your creams. I don't really have that many creams that I put on, if any actually, minus an eye cream which you guys will see next so I usually just put this on by myself like this morning I woke up with a little dry patch put this on and I've been fine the rest of the day the final moisturizer I want to talk about is an eye cream this is from a rad and it is so hydrating I love this honestly sometimes I just want to put it on my whole face because it is that hydrating but it is a product for under the eyes this is like I said so hydrating and I cannot recommend this enough for an eye cream I like this product because it is not heavily scented and like I've said 10 times now it is hydrating moving right on to the the next Marad product, this is the AHA slash BHA Exfoliating Cleanser and I 
love this like next level love this this is awesome i keep it in my shower and i use it every other day and it is such a good facial exfoliant i cannot even begin to rave on how much i like this product so this is an exfoliating cleanser and honestly it just feels like a cleanser when you have it the exfoliant beads are so tiny that it doesn't hurt and it feels really nice probably my holy girl product from 2020 this is awesome and i'm kind of sad that i discovered it in the end of 2020 2020 and now we're going to move on to my acne treatments so i just want to say that just because these products work for me does not mean they will work for you they are definitely worth a shot and you should try them out but that does not mean you will see immediate results or that you will see any results really because all of our skin is so different so i will say the first acne item i'm going to show is prescribed to me and the reason i'm showing it is because it has helped me and i have slowly been able to get off of it and it is now a spot treatment but i do have a dupe for it so first up is Epiduo Forte and this is a topical ointment and the dupe for it is this Terminator 10 acne free spot treatment. So this is what was prescribed to me by my dermatologist. This stuff is great for getting rid of just that acne that's sticking around. I will say that it has helped clear out my skin but my skin does get a little irritated when I use this and I think it's because I use too much of it. You have to use very little in both of these products because it will dry the living crap out of your skin. You can find the Terminator 10 on Amazon and like I said it is a dupe for the Epiduo Forte that is prescribed by dermatologists. And continuing on with skincare I wanted to share one of my favorite fun acne products and this is the Starface Stars. This is the compact for them. There are just regular refills if you don't want to get the compact and I actually got these in an Ipsy and I fell in love with them so I bought a bunch and they are just little star patches that you put over acne overnight. Right now they have super cute Hello Kitty patches and here is what the Hello Kitty patches look like. They're a lot bigger than these star patches. They are what the star patches look like. So I generally do use these overnight if I have a bad pimple and usually by morning it has extracted some of the gross stuff that comes out of the pimple. It doesn't fully eliminate the pimple but it helps reduce and if you put one on early enough you can stop a pimple. I personally have not done that because I'm really bad at finding when a pimple is going to come up but I really really enjoy this product and this is something I take everywhere just in case something happens. And the last product I want to share with you guys today is the Tula Skincare Go Away Acne Spot Treatment. And this is something I just got in an Ipsy, I believe, recently. So here is what this looks like. It is a very skinny, tall bottle, and it is a squeezy tube. This is a silicone head. So usually what I do with this is I squeeze and then I just rub it on. I don't really like to touch my skin, even with my hands washed and sanitized and all of that, just so I can keep my skin as dirt-free as possible. There is tea tree oil in this product, and you can definitely smell it. This product does smell pretty good though. The tea tree oil doesn't overpower. This product and the Marad product are definitely my favorites of 2020. Like I said with the Marad, I really, really, really wish I would have discovered this sooner. This product also feels very clean on the face. So that was my favorite skincare of 2020. There are a couple more products I could definitely talk about, but they weren't as prominent as these products I've talked about today. The products I've talked about today, I use on a regular basis and I really enjoy them. So if you guys want to see more videos where I tell you the top items from 2020 in a specific category let me know down below and I could definitely do those videos for you guys I had so much fun making this video and I hope you guys like my recommendations if you did remember to like comment subscribe turn on post notifications all of that and I will see you in my next video bye Feel running